Welcome back to some more High Shard Monster Train. Just getting that nice, sweet, lots of shards, usually you know, 200 plus. And the, of course, the attempts to kind of talk through what I am doing. So today's run, we are going to be Wild Intent. So let's get in this run. Let's talk about what we see. All right. So Wild Intent has an issue where it's a little bit lighter on the health pretty much in all pathways um, which means especially you are watching out for high damage bosses Talos and uh, Daedalus are always just you know what they are but you're watching out for Arcus especially if you have stealth because that can really destroy a floor containing Wildenton you're watching out for uh, Wings of Fury at high shards because that is one of the highest scaling bosses. Party Boy, of course, as well in Ring 5. Um, final bosses, you have to be careful about Diligent and you have to be careful about Patient. Um, because once again, you have low health and Awoken is pretty weak on survivability cards for high damage enemies. Because theirs is all, you know, I took a bunch of damage, let me heal it up. Rather than, I'm preventing it. Damage shield, stealth, daze, sap. Uh, so we're going to hope our secondary clan, which we are in Stygian, can make up for that. And honestly, Stygian is great for this. Um, you get the chance for sap and daze. So you get some really strong options. Now let's look at our starters. We've got two Steel Enhancers and two Offering Tokens to and a Wildwood Custodian. So we got some really good Encant Zero Cost cards, which are nice. A little bit of scaling. I like Offering Tokens because I like Offering cards. I think they're strong, so taking Offering Tokens is good. And then Custodian is, I just, maybe I draw a card occasionally from it, right? Um, so we're going to click OK. I really hope this is a Stygian Banner. It is, so maybe I can go an Encant strategy. So let's Hope for our Wildenton to be in Cant. Yeah, there we go. Predator. I am not a big fan of Predator at high shards. I think it's fine at low shards or base game. Um, but high shards, Predator just... It never gains any health. It's too weak. So we're going to take Thornlord. We're going to get Stings. We're going to encant as much as we can. We can take a Light's Gift. It's not a trap into Sap Seraph. It's worse into Chaste. And then the very worse into Patient. But sap we are fine, so I like that. Spikes are whatever. We're just going to snap those trials up for the most part. Because I like stuff. Alright. We're going to buff our dude. We do just kind of want to take out floors. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're just going to encant. up top oh no our units what a shame um draw 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 and we're gonna foregone power right just kind of weaken up these floors up a bit now from here we are going to offering token away these foregone powers just to get more things out um let's not take higher damage so we sting once here we can drop the train steward in center. And then a double root seeds on Wildenton and taking out one of the front liners in front of the boss is a good idea. There's our other two stings. That's awesome. Now we can just put all of our pumps into Wildenton, a little frost into the boss. And this should be an easy handling of the boss, right? Sting. Goodbye offering token, root seed, root seed, root seed, frost. Yeah. Very simple, very quick kill. Thank you, money. So options here. Hmm. I'm just drinking lots of water, so you might hear a little click as I mute myself. But we have Razor Sharp, Sting, and Restoration. Sting by itself, kind of a weak card. Razor Sharp Edge is always good scaling. We do have scaling, Root Seeds, Steel Enhancer are normal. It is just a nice bump. But honestly, I think it's the Resto Deto here. Um, if we take damage, we want to heal it. And I think that's how we're going to do so, how we're going to get past that first push Tello's boss if needed. So we're going to take the Restoration Detonation, just some good heal effects. Um, 
We can take... I don't think we need a third offering token. Energy Siphon, Spell Weakness is just not ideal for us. Um, it's not the best strategy into high shards. We couldn't take the Flash Freeze though. I think that's what we want. To give us some targeted damage for backliners could be a really good idea. We're hoping for Incant, maybe Frost Shark. What do we see? We see a Frost Shark. So we're going to take that. We're going to give it some health. We're going to reroll. And we give it Endless. Bam. We have a solution for waves for many rounds to come. Spell Chain. I always enjoy a Spell Chain offering token. It sets up a lot of possibilities. Purge minus one. We're going to just start getting rid of Forgot Powers. And we're going to slap two Train Stewards together to purge one from the deck. Alright, we're fine. Uh, Shark is basically just going to take out everything themselves. I probably won't even have to deal with top floor. But we're still going to play up top. Um, sting, 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 frostbite. It's going to weaken both of those so they die next turn. Ah, that's what I was worried about. The effect went into the back. Or you went to the back there. Um, I could kill one, but I can't kill both of them. So we're going to take an extra draw. We're just going to blast this front unit. We can drop a train steward. Let's just pump up upstairs a little bit. We put some more frost on this middle guy just to get some damage into it. Yeah. High damage guy is annoying. Let's take out 2232. So we're going to hit this for frostbite. Just Oh, that reduces it. Oh no, I miscounted. That happens. Um, we're gonna just drop both of these units. Get some frost into the, that dude. This is fine. Shark goes there, and we are just going to pump up our floor. Yeah. Shark can basically just tank the heck out of this for us and we get a nice easy kill go go shark gotta love it um <clears throat> we don't need more stings we don't need more steel enhancers wildwood sap is decent um we'll probably go magic stygian banner hope for another shark or the encant unit though i don't really need heals i have the one big heal there we go this is what we want to see so cards, Ice Tornado is just kind of a junk damage spell. Crystalline she Seed, it's a fine incant trigger, maybe good against Diligent, um, but I have Frostbite for the waves. We want this Crypt Builder. We want that high damage card for our offering tokens, and we want this <laughs> Eel Gorgon to go with our dude up top, because Eel Gorgon's just nice and insane. We're going to take... Maybe some minus ones. Oh, well, there we go. Siren of the Sea. And we get a giant crypt builder as well. Awesome. Okay. So Siren of the Sea goes inside of our Eel Gorgon. Very cool. We're going to minus one up a Root Seeds. We're going to reroll. Minus one up another Root Seeds. That's very worth it. Build a card. Oh, man. Um... Do I want offense or defense? I think. Oh. Hmm. Rage, spikes, frostbite. Let's take offense. Take some rage and some buff and some card draw. That's pretty good. Now, of course, the rage is going to go way on my guy, but, you know... That's going to be one round of increased buff. Alright, go, go, you. Go, you. We're just going to get our triggers in. Now, the only downside is if they, uh, you know, when they, well, when they come back, we're just going to start encanting up top as much as possible. Get those triggers going. We 
We want you a nice healthy eel. Yeah, I should have maybe put the eel. in front we want you to survive eel would have survived in front which would have been nice but i mean we are doing 473 damage this turn we're going to get a free round with the eel as well so i don't think i need to be worried anyway shark goes down we blast we sting let's just draw our cards up yeah gonna encant that infused eel gorgon and uh, I think we don't have an issue then let's get this train steward out let's blast you with frost I mean will we even have to go top yes we will go train steward go frostbite I think we're fine. Oh no, we discard you. We pump, we pump, we pump the heal Gurgan. Restoration detonation, we get a little frostbite, and we got a kill. Very cool. Um, I think we take the Unleash, because we do want some sort of big heal for Divinity, and that's going to be our best bet, or some sort of survivability. This is the only survivability card to help my top floor. So we take the big heal. Ooh, Titan Sentry. That means, yeah, we're going to take the Titan Sentry for the self-infuse. I don't have to dupe it now. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to take more card draw because I want to get make sure I have my big hands every turn, even when I don't hit my uh, draw extra card effects. All right, Merchant of Steel. We get a multi-strike, which is useless. We do get plus 25 health. That's great for you. We need you to be healthy. Minus two. We're going to put that into the old magic. Once again, we're going to purge a foregone power. Minus two old magic means I can double stack it. I can twin stone it. Um, sentry into sentry. Yay. And then we have one more fusion. So we only need to hold on to one of our units for that. So let's go ahead and get rid of the Fuse Train Steward. Let's get rid of a Wheat Train Steward. And I'm going to get another Mina Upgrade. <sighs> Not the most amazing. I do want just... Oh, I can't put it on you. Lame. Because that spikes. I just wanted more health on my Gorgon. And I don't know if I'll go to another upgrade. Yeah, I think we do. we could do Strangler. I think we do Strangler. That can set us up for a Siren Song ability. And then we'll do Thornlord 2 at the next path just for more defense. And I think that's really going to get us through. Spikes, whatever. I mean, Spike Trials can actually super destroy this type of setup. But uh, we'll just say we're not worried. We're just going to pump up the floor as much as possible every single fight. We want to draw as many cards as possible so we get this custodian down. We're going to ping that guy just to kill it. Alright, you can go down. We are going to take the dude out in the middle. Goodbye. Let's heal up. And then we're just going to draw some cards. Yeah. Alright, get the health. We are going to discard the Crypt Builder. And we can sting. Now we take no damage on our top floor. Um, since we no took no damage, let's just go ahead and ping the mid dude. Keep encanting up. Uh, defend train steward so we get more draw because that's always my favorite. Go away, stings. We're good. Go sting. Let's get the incants going. Very cool. Party boy is a pain, but I think 
we can get him. We are just going to do a big damage into Party Boy, though. Um, because that's just going to make the next floor easier. And we want to draw as many cards as possible. Because Party Boy is doing 4 by 16. Oof. All right. We just want to make sure we're drawing cards. Let's see, we do have the Crypt Builder here, so we are going to play this mid-floor. We don't see it, we don't need the trains, or the uh, the shark. Let's get our encants up as much as possible. We do draw 10. There's the Crypt Builder, awesome. Now we got an easy kill without taking damage. Yeah. We will take that Forever Flame. Free Eel Gorgon, free Titan Sentry. Amazing. Um, Thingraft's just a free Incant, so we kind of take that. We could take Focused Growth for the bigger heal, but I think I just, the free Incant, free draw. And there's a Drain. Drain is another solution for victory, so we take it. Um, I don't have, I could dupe the big hammer, get a free artifact, but I think we're going to try to finish up our upgrades into the Eel Gorgon. There we go. We just want more health because our incant values are already insane. Uh, why not just take extra pyre health and we visit this caverns. I do need five pips, so let's say just an extra on the floor. Why not? Get some health. We can put our extra jaw on the top floor. This, of course, is an annoying boss. But I think we can get it there with the Titan Sentry. Sting, sting, sting. Pump, pump. Mm. Let's hold the Train Steward as a stall for the boss. Alright, now we just start... Pumping up our guy in the back. Oh, thanks, Crypt Builder, for another encant. We'll just sap our middle dude. It doesn't matter. One health is not ideal. Let's get you 10, so you at least get a little bit more frostbite in. But anyways, hammer. We're amazing. We encant up our floor. Let's just I don't know. Continue working on your armor. Shark is free to play back. We love that. We just got to keep our incants high. To make sure we kill all these enemies. There we go. Sting, sting. We're going to heal the front guy by one. Thank you, Wildenton. You're a great tank. All right, now we want you to survive. That gives you two turns of survival. Let's go ahead and just Crypt Builder here for the big damage. All right, excuse me. And we do just want to, once again, keep pumping up our backliner. We draw a nine, we get shark, we get a train steward. We're going to do this encant up top once, and then once here. That was just in case I drew my crypt builder again. I did not though, it's fine. The Crypt Builder would have killed, right? I mean, we're going to get the kill anyways. Doesn't matter. That's why we have that extra unit for the middle defense. Thank you, money. We don't need another one of those. I mean, that's plus two drop, but that's not useful. And Pyre Shards is just junk. Um, Glacial Seal? No, not your time, I don't think. I mean, that's, I could take it. It wouldn't be the worst thing to put into my 
totem, but uh, we already have wave clear for frostbite, um, which is why we don't need that or the titan's tooth. And I think per permafrost preserve here is just not a good incant. I have better zero cost incants I could be doing. All right. Money, money, Merchant of Magic shows me minus one holdover, so let's see what the caverns has. Uh, give me artifact. Three magic damage, why not? Slightly better heals, slightly better pings. Alright, we can minus one hold over the strain. I like doing that, I think that's good. We can double stack, that's 8 rage, no. Maybe I still get the twin stone next round, I'd much rather see that. So let's minus one the ingraft just to make it a free Rember, ember relic. We are going to get rid of all of our four gun powers. Um, I want my drain to be my discard card, so I want to play that. And I don't want to lose in cants hit on Foregon Powers and accidentally discard it. Sting, sting, sting. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the Resto Deto. Um, we want more... Well, we already had 10 draw. That's my mistake. I could have done another one. Alright, here comes a shark. And now our floors are just going to start being insane with these incants. We're just going to put this into the boss. We can start sapping the boss down. Try to get our heals up in the meantime. Sting, sting. Get another pump. Uh, root seeds. Once again, we ping the boss and we crit builder and zap. Alright. Increase attack. Sting. Increase attack. Increase damage. Sure, you are getting a lot of health. I don't really care. Because each time we're getting more attack than you are getting armor by a lot. Right, we got 700 damage into the boss. That's pretty good, as some people might tell you. Alright, we just incant once again, incant up our heal. Already at 100 health, amazing. Let's put more damage into the boss. Oh no, Shark has perished. Oh boy, Shark is back. Let's just keep this incant train a rolling. Ooh, Crypt Builder. Cool. Another free incant. Drain the boss. Alright, boss, are you coming back top floor? You are. Ooh, can I get the kill? Sting, 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 pump, and graft. We get more pump. We get some frost into the boss. This is going to take out the frontliner. Oh. Three health left. Wow. If I had a jack strips. That's funny. Okay. Well. Restoration detonation go. Three health away from the flying kill. What's that times? Uh, spreading spores is... Amusing, but not needed. Shard Chandler's junk. I mean, we can't put spikes on our eel gorgon, so we take the deep offering because I love that card. And then uh, energy. The only downside is I probably don't remove consume the deep offering. Just use it as a draw five one turn. Um, is that I can't really combo uh, remove consume deep offering with this holdover drain. Um. Now we just take plus draw, we get more draws in the initial turn, that gives us one closer into our hopeful uh, drain mechanics. Now I'm going Merchant of Trinkets here, just in case I see I want a double incant or cuddle beard, right? That's more powerful than two minus one, it's just the chance to see one of those. Alright, spell chain, 
We're going to spell chain this old magic for faster damage scaling. Um, let's go ahead and purge out. Oh, I want my heals. We get rid of the flash freeze. I think that's the junkiest of them all. And train steward, go inside this wildwood custodian. Get a little bit of health. All right. Let's check out Herzl's Horde. Yeah, we can remove buff effects. I like that. And let's get a lot of money. Because I like my money. And we buy this. We have nothing else to buy. Now we're going to have a much better first turn. Like I said, we're going to go Thornlord 2 just because that's more health. And that's going to allow us to survive better against Divinity Waves. Artifact. Or sorry, emblem here. Doesn't matter. Go you. Go this. We are just going to incant up top as before. We're going to put both of those into the enemy. Now we don't take the junk. Um, sap holdover is not important for this. So we are going to... Just Crypt Builder here. Uh, we're going to Deep Offering. Darn, didn't draw a sting. No extra money. Oh man, do we have lots of scaling up top already. Whew. Uh, I don't feel like having the junk copy going my deck, so we're just not going to camp one more time. Sting, and sting, and sting, and then we just play our pump effects. Yeah. I think we're doing fine. Man, hit both spikes there, that's pretty good. And then this turn is just kind of really strong. Let's just keep Pumping our effects up. Uh, we're getting 10. Let's just... Sure, zap. We got the frost... Or the drain. That's fine. I mean, we've gotten... What? Is that 90 in... Oh, plus 2. 50 summon cants. Yeah, you are going to do what you're going to do. We're just going to ignore you. Focus up top. Uh, we will just send a big crit builder into you though, right? That's just a good amount of damage. So we like that. Eh, goodbye drain. I mean, we're doing 2,000 damage round one with you. That's gonna take out the boss, right? Sting, root seeds, sting, root seeds, old magic. Old magic, root seeds, big heal. Yeah, we're just incanting. We needed that first incant to go off, so we actually uh, get the multi strike to kill. Very cool. Um, I don't think we need any of those. These, right? We don't need the extra ember. Everything we're having no issue playing everything really. Don't need that. Invigorating Solution could be a maybe. You take that and then you dig deeper into your drain earlier, but no. Um, hmm. Frenzied Swarm. We'll take that extra round by with the Frenzied Swarm. Alright, let's make things free. Max health on our champion is great for us. There's, as I said, more free stuff. Extra spell slot is really not needed. I mean, we could go like minus one, minus one, remove consume, but we're just gonna minus one that. I guess we could double stack it. That's actually pretty nice. Um, if I buy this, no, I'd rather reroll, hope for something better. Yeah, these aren't bad. Extra draw is amazing, because extra draw is more in cans. Um, what do we want to get rid of? It's a good question. 
We're gonna get rid of one root seeds and one steel enhancer. Um, we already have the effects. We have lots of draw. We have lots of damage. So let's minus one a root seeds. Let's plus ten the zero cost heal. Remove consume. No, no, thank you. Can we just go in with that extra 120 gold? 21 card deck. We have drain. We have days. So we got some good starting answers. We play Eelgorgon first, so we don't get the Ember Drain. And now we can just start working on the boss. We can discard the day as we're going to get you know, all this extra damage. And look at that, we were already doing 378 into the boss and we started with a seven damage shield. Wonderful. All right. Nah. We drop our chump guy in the middle. You know what? Let's just crit builder out this. Blast the next one. Very cool. I'm just doing that so I don't have to uh, redraw next turn. We just zap our own guy because who cares? I already has zero attack. Um, most of those will die in two turns, so I'm happy. And from here, we're just going to in cant up top. Um, we are going to get rid of the crit builder. Onto the boss, because that's just free 300 damage. Well, 265. 275, excuse me, because I have the plus 15 from our plus 3 talisman. All right, Sting, awesome, Sting, Bash, go Crypt Builder. Let's go ahead and discard. Um, what are these five cards? Ooh, a bunch of zero costs. So we are going to full heal, deep offering, so we can cast all of these. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. 2600 damage. We just need the boss to come up one more time, please. And we can take them out. I mean, at this point, it's just kind of like, why even bother casting things? But I still am because I'm a junkie uh, for playing cards and encanting more. There we go. G G Seraph, you fool. You fell for my trap, apparently having my guy die at the perfectly right time. Bam. Nice and easy. And let's just uh, play top. We are actually going to sap now, just in case I, uh, so I can deep offering. Nope, completely missed the deep offering. Well, I discarded the deep offering, not completely missed it. Did the opposite of what I wanted to do with that deep offering. All right, we're gonna get our full heal first, then once again, we're gonna drain first. I am having very good luck at hitting the exact card I do not want to hit with my drain. Um, since we're already drawing 10, we're just going to take this free plus 3 plus 3. Look at that shark just annihilate those waves. Alright. We cast the old magic first because I think it's the most important thing. Then we drain again. This time we can hit one of our other cards, that's great. So let's heal. Let's deep offering, get it out of the deck. Um, we can get rid of the front unit with a Crypt Builder. We can sting, we can, ooh, yeah. We're gonna give the plus three, plus three here, so that way we take out all the units with 
Wildington's attack, and we put all 13 attacks into the boss. Floor's going up with, wow, 60 Frostbite? Nice. All right, Sting, Sting. We blast our opposition away. Let's just heal our middle guy, then we can pump, pump. Drain the boss, get the hammer, do a thousand damage into divinity. Right, we're keeping a 17 health custodian alive. When divinity started with 21 attack thanks to this drain. That's why I like the drain effect. Um, and why I think you find that drain, you can pretty easily win. We're already drawing 10. So let's just keep discarding. Ooh. Doesn't matter. Not anymore. We're just going to keep going through the deck to get as many encants as possible. Bam. Zero attack. 1700 into the boss. Now we're going to definitely be down at least two cards this round. Sad. But let us sting, sting, pump up, get rid of this junk. Barely don't get through the divinity. I think next turn we'll be fine. Yeah. This is an easy kill, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to play everything out from our hands. Three health. Ooh, you heal the most just to get as much damage. 200 by 11. I think we got the divinity kill. All right, run summary. So, I mean, if you are going Wildenton, I think this is, I like the Stygian pairing really well. Um, I do think, once again, you want Strangler or you want Thornlord. Um, Thornlord's a strong pick, especially because it is the beefiest of them all. If you think you're going to use your Wildenton, you could, of course, can just use it as a throwaway Get three stings. Didn't see sting artifacts, unfortunately. But get three stings uh, so you draw three more the next turn. That's always a very viable thing you can do with Thornlord if you end up not using it. Toss it bottom, play your three stings, draw extra cards. Right? That is pretty decent. Um, but when you are the Sting and Root Seeds clan... And Kant's a great strategy. Eel Gorgon's amazing, right? I had that up to 200 attack. Then again, partially in thanks to this old magic, which was just absolutely bonkers with it. Um, but other things that we did that's really strong in this combo, um, taking Strangler especially. I mean, Strangler in general is just really strong. Um, if you don't if you can plan for actually clearing waves. You can put yourself in situations where you overstack floors or lose Strangler at a bad time and lose. But if you can use Strangler well, it is super strong. It's just kind of weak. But we Strangler, and if we got the Siren Song, would have been amazing. Um, just Rooted plus Siren Song is great because then you root the enemies, and then if you Siren Song them, they have days three... And they lose the rooted, which just means they stay the floor, so you can still wipe them out with your damage dealing floor and not have your pirate be the solo. So that's a fun combo. Um, once again, always build redundancy with your survivability if you're going high shards, right? <clears throat> so my main survivability was the holdover drain. That did great damage, as I showed. It kept this 17 health Wildwood Custodian alive since turn one. Otherwise, Frenzied Swarm Double Stack is a great way to buy a round. Um, full Heal is a great way to buy rounds. I'll just extra sources of survivability, which are good. Um, 
Yeah, that that was a fun one. And then of course, can't forget Titan Sentry. Just you know, that nice hard carry of clearing out waves. I mean, I was doing up like sixty frostbite some waves. Anyways, now I'm done talking. So thank you for watching and have fun.